Hello, my name is Franklin Bartol, and I'm a recent graduate of University College London and Yale. Now, cooking for every meal, every day, can get really exhausting. So, today I'm going to show you how to make a big batch of overnight oats that will keep for an entire week, so you have a whole week of breakfasts. Now, overnight oats are just oats that sit overnight in the fridge in some liquid, usually milk or milk alternative, and they soak up the liquid so that in the morning you have oatmeal ready to go and there's no cooking involved. So let's get started. First you want to choose the right type of oats. Now instant oats will disintegrate in the liquid, so you don't want that. Steel cut oats won't really soften up at all either, so what you want are rolled oats, so check for that on the packaging. Now oats are really high in fiber and they contain lots of whole grains, so it's a great way to start your day. We need three and a half cups of rolled oats because half a cup is one serving and we want seven. So now for your liquid. If you want to stick with dairy, I'm using milk and yogurt, and we want an equal amount of milk, yogurt, and oats, so we have three and a half cups of each ingredient. Now I chose Greek yogurt that's not sweetened because we're going to sweeten our oatmeal later with some fresh fruit or some honey natural sweeteners. Greek yogurt is higher in protein than most kinds of yogurt, so that's why I went with the Greek. And now for my milk three and a half cups of that as well. Milk is high in vitamin D and protein as well. Now if you want to stick with a non-dairy option, that's really easy. Since you're getting rid of the yogurt, you want to increase the liquid. So you would choose five cups of your non-dairy drink, like soy or almond milk or coconut milk, because we have three and a half cups of oats and usually want one and a half times as much liquid as you want oats. So five cups of a milk alternative, or three and a half cups of the yogurt and three and a half cups of the milk. And just mix that in together. Now we want to season this a little bit. So I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of salt in here. Salt just kind of brings out the flavor and things, but you don't want to add too much. And then a tablespoon of cinnamon, because I think cinnamon goes really nicely with oats. So once you're done mixing this together, it's done, it's really ready to go, and you just need to divide this up into seven equal portions, one for each day of the week. Now here's, you can get creative with the jars that you keep this in. You can always use just a regular plastic container, put the lid on it, and that's really easy to take with you in the morning when you're uh, having breakfast on the run, because it's got the lid. But a fun thing to do is to check your fridge, check your cupboard, and see if you have any jars of jam, honey, or nut butters that are almost finished. You know, you know when you have some condiment left over in the jar? A little jar like this one would be perfect. And you don't need to clean it out because peanut butter, jam, all these things go really well with the oatmeal. So you can put the oatmeal right in there and it just adds more flavor to your oatmeal. So it's a great way to avoid cleaning out the jar or postpone it a little bit and add a bit of flavor. So we're all done with our oats. And I'll just get one serving ready to show you. And the fun thing now is deciding what toppings you're going to have on your oats. So some toppings you can add in ahead of time because they'll sit well with the oats overnight. And some you'll want to wait. So toppings you can add ahead of time might be a fruit puree or honey or mashed banana or a cocoa powder. So these things will keep fine in the fridge. But if you want um, some crunchy granola or pieces of nuts, those will get soggy if you add them too soon. So it's nice to prepare them ahead of time in a little baggie. So in the morning, you can just grab this out of the fridge, take it to go, or just toss it on right away. And you'll have, um, you know, nuts, granola will stay crunchy. Um, same thing with fresh fruit. Sometimes fresh fruit will go um, over ripen in the fridge overnight, so you can cut that up and uh, keep it wrapped up nicely so it stays fresh or just cut it up really quickly in the morning. So I'm going to show you uh, my favorite version of overnight oats. It might give you your own ideas. So um, I call this pumpkin pie and I have a third a cup of pumpkin puree here. Pumpkin puree is so healthy. It has fiber and lots of vitamin A. So I'm adding this ahead of time because Puree is not going to go bad in the fridge overnight, so that's fine. And I want to season it a little more, so I'm adding a pinch of salt, sorry, a pinch of nutmeg and a pinch of ginger. And I'm just kind of recreating pumpkin pie flavor here. And I want to sweeten this. That's the thing about overnight oats. We haven't really sweetened them yet. And a nice natural way to sweeten it is either 
with some mashed banana or some fruit puree that's a little sweeter than the pumpkin or a natural sweetener. So I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of honey in here and again that can go in ahead of time. So this is a really easy one because in the morning the only thing I need to do is top it. And I like to top it with something crunchy that will go with the pumpkin flavor. So I have some chopped walnuts here and then it's good to go. So that's the really fun part about this, choosing some fun jars, choosing different toppings and things to mix in ahead of time. So you have time to be creative because the big batch of overnight oats is already done.